Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Here I am with my dad and Doctor. Today we're going to tell the time in English. In today's video we're going to write a program which tells the time in English. For example, we are going to read from the keyboard the time like this. Hours, column minutes. And we want the program to output the time as if we told it 20 past 10. Okay, how do we break this problem down? What do we need to do first? So first we need to read the string from the keyboard, obviously. Okay. Uh, and then we have to uh, like split it into... Now split it and transform it into an int. Yeah. So we gotta like split it to hours and minutes, not just hours, minutes. So separate hours and separate minutes. And then we also gotta turn it into an int. And then we gotta do, we gotta let the magic happen. So we split it into two strings. Mm -hmm. We split it by uh, the column. Then we, split it. then we have two groups of two strings. One is the hours as a string, and one is the minutes as a string. Mm -hmm. Then we need to transform it into the integer. And, 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 for example. So the hours and the minutes. The we minutes, have a bunch of cases then. We gotta look at the minutes, and then this how we like say, or write, or print. For example, if the minutes are zero, then we are on the top of the hour. Yeah. And that would be? Like, how do you say that? Like, o seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. So you say the hours, a clock. Yeah. Let's write that. That's a So, year. for example, it's uh, seven o'clock. This is what the program should output. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the next case? Um, if it's in between one and 14. One and 14, then should say. Minutes past hour. It's 5 past 10, 10 past 10, 14 past 10. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, 15, then you just say quarter past. If it's 15, then it should just say quarter past the hour. 16, 29. 29. That is past too? It's past. It's just like the second case. A, B, C. Well, D, which is basically much the same as A. Yeah, it's the same as B, not as A. Okay, next. What is the next case? Um, 30, which is just half past hour. Half past hour. Next one. 31 and 44. And that is, um, yeah, 60 minus minutes to the next hour. The next hour. To H plus 1. Mm -hmm. Then 45 with a special case, which and is... quarter to next hour. And the next one, I think the last one is... Uh, 46, 46 to 59, which is just the same as... 60 minus M to H plus 1. Okay, let's, let's make get coding, yes. Let's get coding. Then. So, can you tell us what this code is doing? It is reading a string from the keyboard. Okay, and this string is, uh, what is the string? The string is um, the hours and the minutes, but... With column in between. Yeah. So, okay, we are uh, assuming that uh, the hour in string format is hours, column, minutes, and then we assume that, that it's correct. a valid and a correct input. If you happen to be at an interview, uh, always ask the interviewer if it's okay to assume that the inputs are correct. Uh, it doesn't matter if uh, uh, the interviewer says, don't do validation. What matters is that you asked. And if you do, you will always score more points uh, at the interviews. So let's proceed. I'm not going to have to ask the interviewer if we have to take validation, because <laughs> he's not an interviewer, I don't exactly. think. So, so we read this uh, string. We're here. And now we need to... Split it. We need to split it by the... Uh, uh, column? Yep. Okay. And then so we you... get two strings after that. Yeah. Now you have the two parts as strings inside an array on position mm -hmm. 0 and 1. Now you need to uh, get parse them to int. Yeah. 
Okay, good. Now, can you explain these two lines? What they do? Um. So, uh, on the first one, I um put the part. I take the first value of the array, and that's the hours, and I put and I parse in them. And that's the verb. I parse them to I parse them int. into an int and then I put that into the int h. And the hours. same and the same for and minutes. The same with minutes. Good. So now we are here. We've just done this. We have two variables, one is m, one is h, which uh, contain our hours and minutes as int. Now we start well, now we need to start doing the if else, the cases. So um, let's make another method. So if m So now basically equals. we start with the first case. We are right about here, the case A, and we're gonna check if the minutes is zero. Yeah. It's six o'clock, perfect. Now we go to the second case where uh, uh, minutes are not zero, but they're between 1 and 14. So let's go. So, now let's test it. Okay, so right now I've done the second case where um, I check if m is lower than 12. 15. 15. And if it is, then, uh, then we write the minutes past the hours. So 5 past 12, if it's 12, 5. Okay. Next, we're going to do case C when uh, the minutes are 15. In that case, you need to output uh, quarter, past, quarter hour. past the hour. Perfect. Next uh, will be case D, which is actually the same as case uh, B. So we are now between 16 and 29. That's what you need to check. Okay, please tell us what you did. Uh, so I'm checking if, um, I already know that M is not 15. So then I'm checking between if it's not 30. If it's below, if it's, below less, 30. it's less than 30. And it is. That's a good thing uh, I noticed you did. If M is zero, then you do something. Otherwise it, it says if M is less than 15, it means it's not zero, but it's less than 15. So, so it's, it's between one, one and, 14. and 14. Otherwise it's 15 or then less than 30. It means it's between 16 and 29. So that's why we have all these else if uh, uh, cases. Now is half past the hour. So if this is case E. So if minutes is uh, 30, then you're gonna output half past Half past the hour. So if it's six thirty, then it's right half past six. You can do that. Six thirty. Yes. Okay, let's try to break it. Let's do some bigger hours. Eleven. Eleven. Wait, no, wait, twenty-three. So far, nothing will break. I think this is not interesting. Cases half past twenty-three. Ah, half past twenty-three. That's not, 11. that's not right. Huh? It should be half past 11. So we just identify the a corner case. Uh, if the hours are uh, uh, above 12, then you don't say it's uh, half past 23, for example. You just want to say it's half past 11. Okay, so if uh, the hours are greater than 12, then you're going to subtract 12 from it. So yes, instead of 13, it becomes 1. Yeah. And if it's 12, then it becomes 0. If it's, in the, if it's 24, no, it becomes... No, if it's 12, it stays 12. Oh, yeah. Can you test this? 23, 30. Half oh, past 11, okay. All right, next case would be F, where we check uh, if M is between 31 and 40. 44. 44, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so I'll... If m equal m is lower than forty five, then we do. Let's test it. So for thirty five, so just be thirty five to five. 
Can you explain a bit what we did? I checked if it is if the minutes are smaller than forty five. So I'm... that means that we are between thirty one and forty four now. That's yeah. the case we handle. And if it is, then we will um, write sixty minus um, sixty minus minutes. Because we're here, so yeah. we need to output sixty minus minutes. So if it's uh, thirty five, then we say it's 25? sixty. Sixty minus thirty five is twenty five. I want to say is 25 2 and the next hour. So yeah. if it's 4, then it becomes 5. So it's 25 2 5. But I think I think now we can break it. Yeah. Because that h plus 1, I don't like it. Uh, try something to break it. Uh, yeah. 35. Let's do 420. 36. 34 to 13. Oh, okay. Correct. So this is not correct. Yeah. So in this case, when we have the hours are 12, then we want the next hour not to be 13, but to be 1. one. So this should be 24 to 1. Let's handle this case. So only uh -huh. do this if minutes are greater than 30 and the hour uh -huh. is 12. Then hour becomes 0. That's plus 1. Because then 13. it goes into the next hour. It's h plus 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1 or it's 11 plus 1 is 12, and so on. Can you test this? Yeah. Uh, so Try to do the same as before. So 12, 36. 3, 4, 2, 1. It works. That's good. Uh, now we're going to do corner of case G, I think. Yeah. Yes, we are at uh, case G right now. So that means we are at 45 minutes to the hour. So you need to print out. Uh, quarter quarter two, two, the next hour. So uh, right now I have checked if M is 45 and if it is, then it'll go into the if and um, then it'll print out quarter to the next hour. Correct. Which brings us down to the last case, which is uh, between 46 and 59. Then you need to say the same as uh, 60 minus the minutes to the next hour. And um, because uh, we already did everything else and there's nothing else to do, we're just going to make it an else. This should be the last uh, else of the if yes. else branch. And um, because it's the same as this one. this one, then I'm going to paste, copy paste it. And um, we're done. That's about it. I think uh, this uh, is the solution. Can you think of other corner cases? No. You look very bored. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually cannot. Thank you for watching. And if you think this content is interesting, then please leave a like. And maybe subscribe. And until next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.